Let's find uh, p of 10. So this can be found by replacing y equal to 10 in the population equation. So when I do that, I get uh, p of 10 equals uh, 0 0.018 times of y square, which is uh, 10 square, minus uh, 3.564 times of y. So I replace y by 10. And then we have 266.660. So we plug this into the calculator and when we do that, we get the value as 304.1. So this is in millions. So this is the value of P of 10. Now let's answer the question that is the meaning of P of 10 is equal to the number of people in millions. So when you look at the definition of P of Y, we clearly understand that P of Y represents the population of people in millions in 2005 that were y years of age or older so therefore p of 10 represents the population of people in 2005 that were 10 years or older and the best choice uh, of this uh, is who were 10 years of age or older so this is the uh, correct answer for this question let's answer part c in part C, we have to first determine uh, P of 0. So we replace Y by 0 into the population equation. So therefore, P of 0 equals, this equals uh, 0 0.018 times of Y square, which is 0 square, minus of uh, 3.564 times of 0, plus uh, 266.660. We know that uh, 0 times uh, any number is 0 and this will get cancelled and this is also 0. So finally we get uh, P of 0 equals uh, 266.660 and this is in millions. So we mark this as 266.660 million. And let's answer this question. The value of P of 0 is equal to the number of people in terms of millions. So it is not this choice, 2004, it is not. They were born in uh, 2005. This is the equal to the number of people in 2005. No, it is not. Who were zero years of age or older? No, it is not. Uh, who were born in 2005? So yes, because P of zero means uh, who were uh, zero years older, which means they were actually born in 2005. So this is the correct answer for this question.